four-year-old Ella Chadwick charmed us all with her absolute positivity and brilliance when she won a Pride of Britain award after raising thousands of pounds for charity, despite spending much of her life going in and out of hospital. Yeah, Ella has a rare kidney disease and has had two transplants, but that has never slowed her down. She spent the weekend in Wales at this year's British Transplant Games, taking part in events like the Donor Run, the 100-metre run, the Tug of War, and some table tennis as well. And she's here with her mum, Karen. Good morning to you. Good morning. <laughs> How are you doing, Ella? Good, thank you. You don't mind getting up, do you? you no, I don't. <laughs> You're very bouncy in the morning. Yes, yes, I am. So how was it then, Ella? How were the transplant games? Well, it went really good. It went really good and it went really hot when we just came out. Right, so the weather's been quite hot, hasn't it? Yes. <laughs> yeah. When I um, came in tennis, I felt that ball is, needs to sort itself out and then... <laughs> was the ball not behaving? No, because I was... That... You were trying to hit it and it was going <laughs> everywhere. <Yeah. laughs> and then after it... Went really good and I like some racing. Yeah. And like you say, you might feel like a little bit nervous or like scared, but you might feel like excited because you don't know if you're going on because you might say, Oh, I don't know who I am and that's who you are. That's because... exactly who you are, and you just gotta take part, haven't yeah. you? Go and, and give it, it a shot. Matter if you're wearing a wheelchair or, like, a walker. No. Mm. And you've got some medals, haven't you? Can we yes. have a look at your medals? Let's have a look. Let's now, here have you a go. Look. These... This is good. And this is all the different games you took part in. Yeah. What was your favourite sport, do you think, to well, take part in? you know which my favourite. So, I like tug of war. Oh, great. And I like running. Yeah, yeah. I've got that one. And yeah. I like some, like... Um, like ping pong. The ping pong, when the ball behaves. <laughs> yeah. You need to get the ball to behave. And I like tug of war because it's my best day. That's your best event, is That's it? That's good, isn't and it? And then we done a like garlic dinner, had a disco, but at first place I had aching high heels. Aching first. in the high heels. <laughs> so did you do much dancing <laughs> in the disco? I think she feel a bit bit stop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Karen, what is always, I mean, we, you know, it's a treat whenever we see you and Ella as well. And she never slows down, she never loses no. her energy. No. But I'd imagine being able to go at the Transplant Games for you as a mum it, uh, must be really special. Yeah, it was something we always, we knew happened and always longed to be at. And it's just amazing just knowing everybody there mm. is there because they've had a transplant um, and the energy they've now got that they didn't have before. And so to take part in sports and have the energy and feel well enough to take part and like you say we all love winning medals but it's not about the winning medals it doesn't matter what ability they are it's just amazing and everyone's and for you i suppose it, it, it's lovely to have the chance to share your experiences and stories with the other parents yeah. there and the other people there that have been through very similar challenges yeah definitely because a lot of the time we would see them more than our family because they've been in hospital but mm. you'd be in a hospital ward or being not the best time so to be with everybody outside mm. of the hospital as well and meet other families from other hospitals from up yeah. and down the uk and see them each year that's lovely as well and, amazing uh, See the difference mm. in them all. It's been an extraordinary couple of years for you, Ella, because we first met at the Pride of Sport, and the Pride of Sport for this yeah. year is, is launched today. So if you've got anybody you would like to nominate for a Pride of Sport award, mm -hmm. uh, you can go to the website and find out the details. And then, of course, the Pride of Britain. I remember that years ago, Basil Woods popped up to it... me and I knew Queen. He yeah. did. Yeah. Basil was in yeah, the, so... the last Basil time he came out. in. Uh, how are you coping with your celebrity status, though? Because um... you get recognised, don't you, now, everywhere you go? It doesn't matter who you are or where you come from. It just like you're part of like inside and the outside. That's the most yeah. important thing is what's yeah. on the inside. Yes. Are you having a nice summer holiday, Ella? Yes, I am. Are you going away anywhere? Yeah, we are. We are going Butlin, aren't we? Yeah. Lovely stuff. <laughs> <That'll be good. laughs> We're going Sked Ness. You're going to Butlins in Skeggy. Yeah. Don't amazing. tell them all your fans will be flocking there now. <laughs> I'm sure you're going to have an amazing time. Yeah. You will do. Uh, if you know a child as inspiration as Ella, we're looking for nominations uh, for the 
I was just reading that. Oh. Uh, we were going to we something. We need to get them all in, actually, because it is so brilliant, Pride of Sport. You hosted, Yeah, the you? Pride of Sport. Well, nominations for Pride of Sport. There will be a Pride of Sport award. There you go. Uh, for Good Morning Britain Fundraiser of the Year, uh, which, of course, Ella has been absolutely instrumental in raising money for uh, her charities. Uh, here's how you can nominate someone. Awards. It's the 20th anniversary and over the years we've met some amazing young fundraisers. Well now we're looking for our 2019 winner. The Good Morning Britain Young Fundraiser of the Year Award celebrates young people who go above and beyond when it comes to raising money for charities close to their hearts. If you know someone aged 15 or under who deserves to be recognised, go to itv.com forward slash GMB or you can pick up a nomination form. You've got till 11.59 on Friday the 30th of August to nominate. So we'd love to get your nominations. Yeah. That'd be great, wouldn't it, Ella? So, who's ever want to nominate, come and nominate right now. And if you love to nominate, it could be like a child or like a grown-up. Please do that. And it'd be lovely to do it. And you might be a lucky winner. You absolutely are. <laughs> Bang but on the money. But if you're not, then it doesn't matter if you lose or win. Does, it doesn't matter. Give it a go. It, Having the nomination yeah, is good it enough, go. isn't it? Yeah, and I it love might that. be a lucky day when you wish it luck, doesn't it? You did. Yeah, and you did. As you did, well Ella. Done. Thank yeah. you so much for coming in, Karen. Thank You're you for welcome. coming in together. <laughs> Have a lovely time at Butlins next week Thank as well. Thank you. I love I bet it up there's in not Skiggy. much quiet on your holiday, is there? Oh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> but lots of smiles, yeah. so that's good. Thank you very much to both and of you. And tell Bice of Bush, I love you. There I you go, <laughs> you just said it yourself. I see him all the time, so I'll I definitely thought, pass yes. it on. I thought I was your favourite, Ella. Oh. Hang I on. love all of you, remember? <laughs> yeah. Thank you. We love you too. We Actually, Ben's do. bushy tail is bigger than Basil's, it is. isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah. Very bright.